Hey guys, welcome back. What do tires and mortgages have to do with each other? I guess on the face value, not much, but let me talk about tires first. So I need new tires on my car and my car is newer and it has run flat tires. So those of you who are familiar with it might know what those are, those who aren't. It means that if the tire gets a flat, it can run for a little while to get to wherever you need to go to fix it. So. I need new tires. Got about uh, 60,000 kilometers on the car. Run flat tires for this vehicle are around $450 to $550 per tire. So I call my guy and I say, listen, what's the scenario here? Should I do the run flats? And he says, you got three choices. You got the run flat tires, $450 to $550 per tire. You've got generic non-run flat tires that you can have for as cheap as $120 to $140 per tire. And then you've got a brand name tire that is not run flat, but it's a little bit more expensive. It's probably about, I would say $250 per tire. So I said, what should I do? He says, first of all, run flat tires, first thing you have to remember is they're very stiff. They're not super comfortable in the drive, but you're probably used to it but you don't have a spare tire. So you have a problem with the tire, you can't pull over and change the tire. But he said, having said that, a lot of people are moving away from the run flats because they don't like the ride. And as well, it's much cheaper if you want to replace the tire. You're getting a better tire in terms of ride at a cheaper price, but you don't have the spare. And then he went on to say that if you get a nail in a run flat in a certain position, it defeats the purpose of the run flat, run flat because it's flat. So really, it's only the superficial wounds to the tire that make a run flat able to run flat. So at the end of the day, I said, okay, Johnny, what do you suggest? And he said, well, for what you're talking about, I suggest these Michelin blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, let's do it, order them, let's do it. So now let's get back to what mortgages and tires have to do with each other. So I chose Johnny at Advanced Auto as my guy to trust. So I call him, I don't know about too much about this, I know a little bit, and I don't want to learn about it, I want to phone him and know that he's got my best interest at heart, he's going to give me a competitive deal, and I know I can trust his judgment, and he's got the knowledge, and et cetera, et cetera. And then I get back to my businesses, in the mortgage business, and a lot of times I'll get clients, not a lot of times, but sometimes I'll get clients that'll say, well, you know what? I, I talked to Sally Pants 53 online and they said, you know, the mortgage should have this, or I talked to my cousin's brother, or I was at work and my colleague at work told me this. Whether it's the mortgage business, whether it's tires, whatever the service or whatever business it is, find someone you trust who's got your best interest at heart and then trust them. Leave it at that. That's what mortgages and tires have to do with each other. I know it's a little bit long. Uh, maybe a little bit of education on tires, but the big takeaway today, whatever you're looking for, if it's not what you do and it's not your specialty, trust someone and then let them do the work for you. Make it a great day. Pass it on.